P Squad, have we got a day, have we got a day for you. Let's go get Jonathan up, we got to get the G8 loaded up, and we're going to take a ride, so let's go. This guy likes to sleep late. Let's get this guy up. Jonathan, get up. It's time to ride. Here, get dressed. Whoa. Shoes, shirt, everything. Ready to rock and roll. Priscilla, wake up. I love this one. Oh, it's got the paddle shifters, eco boost. Already, oh, no. Yeah, she's warming up. One down, one to go. So I got the keys to my car. I haven't started it in over two weeks, so I need to start it. I believe it's already got mock styles in it, but we need to get a cold start. So I'm going to set you guys, or y'all come with me and we'll get in and we'll start the sucker. Usually the sucker is loud in the morning. I'm talking really, 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 really loud. I don't know how it's gonna be today. It is like super cold where I'm at and I'm wearing short sleeves right now because I just came outside where you're doing some stuff. Camera. Got the radio on, lights on. Check, check, check. Ooh, that battery. Ooh. I might have to be getting a new battery soon. I got my coat on, it's a poofy coat, I like it. So, we're gonna go move the Sonata so we can get the G8 out the garage, with no problems. And that'll be our day. Guys, in case you don't know, we have some deer, like, next to us, so, here they are, I'm gonna try to get close. Sometimes I can get close, sometimes I can't, you just have to be very careful with them. But, this is actually in a cage. Like I said, some will let you come up. See, I'm, I'm pretty close, but, this one's a pretty all white tail. You do like get some and then raise them and put them on ranches. And guys, there's some huge bucks out here for all my hunting guys, because that's what I am. I hunt. That's why I haven't been here lately, is because I've been hunting. But yeah, there's some pretty nice bucks. So let's move the Sonata out 
of the way, get the G8 out the garage. I'm actually gonna move it real quick. All right, there we go. I'll get the gauges for you. Battleship, dude. I love this car. Alright, gas stop. So we're going to do uh, 0 to 60 because we need to do test times to see how much quicker this car gets with this mod we're fixing to install. So we're going to do 0 to 60 and then 0 to 10 in Mexico. Are you ready? Ready, set, go. Because All the right. ABS. Hold on, hold on. Set. Go. sensor on one of the wheels that isn't working so it's throwing a fault code on the dash which disables the ABS therefore it spins more so while we're doing this mod we're also going to put this thing on a uh, on a, on a on a reader and try to read the code and see which speed sensor that we've got to replace we're gonna to go to O'Reilly or AutoZone, get a new speed sensor, and get that put on put in as well. So stay tuned guys. Trey, he actually used to have a GTO, so he loves his car, and he helps out anytime he can with this car, but he's going to let us use his lift today at his shop, and, and his air tools, so it's going to be a good day. I did not want to have to do this on jack stands, because it would just, it would not have been good. Even if I had a quick jack, like, it still would have been a pain. Yeah, to, just to get under it would be a pain, guys. For one, it sits so low, so. Yeah. I always prefer a lift if I can get one. Guys, y'all hit them up if y'all need anything done. Yeah, hit up uh, Caney Auto Service and Wharton. Um, I'm not sure what his Instagram is, but... We'll get it. But I know they do, like, good work. They do four-wheeler work and anything they can get their hands on. Like, it was funny because I was with my brother, and we came and brought my grandpa's four-wheeler here to be fixed. And I didn't even know that the dude was here. Like, we were just here, like, a week ago. And then we pull up here, and it's the same exact place. But they fix 
almost anything they can get their hands on trucks cars four wheelers lawn mowers motorcycles anything they get it so we're gonna get in here and roll up in here open the shop say hello we'll catch you guys then Oh, I got it. I was hoping it'd be a drive up on lift, but this one's got the arms. But that's okay. It's so cold in here. Got the heater going. Uh, got the mm. heater going. Did you did you show them what we're putting in the car? No. Okay, guys, so we are going with a 2010 Camaro SS pumpkin with three, 327 gears. We didn't do 345s because I didn't want to be too low. I still wanted to have decent gas mileage, but I've had this thing for two years and just been waiting to put it in so today is the day first time you take real open box i don't have a razor to cut the tape oh we got ready hey guys this is a shop that we're actually using that's Aaron but we've got this I love this shot like this in my life. They're actually building this truck with the LS3 60. Like I said, it easy. We got that full synthetic 75. Headers, everything. This sucker is going to run. LS3. You see the nice headers in there. But, uh, the truck's going to run. It's, it's been building for a while now, but, um, I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to do it. He's got so much stuff. There's, there's, so cool. Like there's here's all these motors, three motors. So cool. Yeah, this is definitely what I want. Got like one stall, but yeah, this is the first time the G8's ever gonna be on a lift. Oh look, there's actually a rear. What is that turbo? Wow guys. They got a turbo in here. And then you said injectors, headers. Yeah, block that the building redoing for someone. But yeah, so we're gonna get this rear end. We've got it out, but we're ready to lock and roll. Go I'm ready. I've been waiting too long for this, man. I've been waiting two years. I bought it and just never had the right opportunity to put it in. Oh, here's that asphalt pool. Oh. It's filthy, man. We've got That's to clean this pool. car up. Corsa. Yeah, it's going. We're getting it washed after this. This is the first time I've been under this car, so. These, the 292, 292. Yeah. So these are gears. 292 to a 327. From a 2010 Camaro. So we're gonna get the impactor and break these lugs loose and everything. What she's doing right now is the camera.
stall converter for his truck that's in there. We'll get a shot in a second. They're gonna go sign on this. We're gonna go to Bucky's, get some kolaches on refills, and then hmm, finish this up, take it for a ride, hit the G malls. But uh, we got quite a mess. <laughs> But it'll, it'll be totally worth it, ain't it? With that, oh, yeah. that what we're it's putting in. Yeah, guys. Yeah, so, hmm. I have to go with the mocha today. I've had those for the past like three days, but I'm gonna go with this one, the mocha. And then we're gonna get some watches. Can I get 12 of the sausage and cheese kolaches? Yeah, it's for a whole mechanic group. Well, guys, we went to Bucky Sky back, got the kolaches. Boss man is here, but whew, got the diff in. Stabbed the axles already in, and now let's go see what we got. Alrighty, see you guys. Seven, we got it all charged up. We've got the Camaro diff in, the old one out. We got orange fix. We got some stuff done in the truck. Alright. Alright. Okay. So, we got every single thing so far done. We just gotta get the rotation done on the tires and put the wood in. One bolt on the drive shaft that messed up as it came out. Matt, I mean, uh, Aaron is on his way. <laughs> oh, never mind, he's already back. But. And get the exhaust put on, put the oil in the- The shield on. In the rear end and rotate the tires. Then we're gonna put this thing on a scanner, find out which speed sensor is throwing code for the ABS and re uh, hopefully replace it as well. Yes, sir. So like I said, that's all we have left. And shout out to Aaron for the help today and Trey and Matt. Thank you all three so much for, Trey, thank you for letting us use your shot. Matt, thank you for the help. And Aaron, thank you for the help, man. It was really a lot. Without you, we couldn't have done this, and we really, really appreciate y'all. Um, you're actually right over there, but thought I'd say his ABS. Uh-oh, what's your smoke? What is it? Any words? Left rear wheel wheel, uh, wheel speed sensor. It's saying left rear and right rear. And right rear. So what does that mean? So it means both speed sensors are out on the back. Is that bad? It's not bad. It's just it's gonna throw that ABS light. That's I'm gonna call thing. AutoZone and see how much That's they the are. Thing. Alrighty guys, so we've got the Camaro rear end differential put in the G8. And we're gonna go test this thing out. We gotta run back to Napa, return a few parts, and then we're gonna do some zero to 60 rolls and zero to 10 rolls. But we're gonna get out of here. Um, give my boy Aaron a follow. Go subscribe to his channel, Gunner106. Uh, and you can follow him on Snapchat, Facebook, whatever, Twitter, Discord, Twitter, Discord Aaron, and it's Aaron Forte. So let's go see what this thing does now. And hopefully we get some good results. Stay tuned. Okay, guys. So we're going to do zero to 60 and zero to 10 in mexico um, to see how much faster the g8 is with the differential that we have so hopefully we won't spin too bad because
this car like came alive and it spins really bad now so i'm gonna have to get some tires on the back of this thing in order to be able to hook up but huge difference huge gain so let's let's check it out ready set go from my tuner and he 
gave me a decent price on tuning so we're gonna have to get this thing tuned guys so and all that we know guys this tuner is like the best yeah he's, like, one, he's one of the best around Houston yeah I mean all we're going on a G8 cruise and like all those G8s are tuned by Speedmaster those cars will run like quick. we were talking to our buddy and he had a car and he was smoking bets and stuff and all he, he said put the gears in yeah he said put the gears in um, get it tuned and this car will and come he said alive. that car will come alive so we're gonna get so, this sucker tuned and yeah, there's no have, other choice yeah I've got to get it tuned and guys we're gonna be doing a track night we get it tuned. And some different tires in the back. Yeah.